Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this programmable ROM and here it is used as a programmable logic device. That means using this ROM, a certain logic function has been implemented. So if you see the circuit diagram of this ROM, then it consists of the BCD2 decimal decoder and the memory cells. So in this BCD2 decimal decoder, this X3, X2, X1 and X0 are the inputs. So based on this BCD code, any one of the 10 outputs of the decoder will get high. That means whenever the input code is 0000, then this D0 output will become high. And likewise, when the input is equal to 1001, then this D9 output will become high. So here, the outputs of the decoder are interconnected with the output lines. And based on this interconnection, a specific logic function will get implemented. So if you see over here, then this Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 output lines are interconnected with this D9 output. That means whenever this D9 output is equal to high, then all these outputs Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 will become high. Likewise, when this D8 output is high, then this Y3, Y2, Y1 output will become high, while this Y0 output will remain zero. And likewise, when this D0 output is high, then all the outputs Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 will remain zero. So in this way, depending on the interconnection, the ones and zeros will be stored in the each word. And this is the truth table of this given ROM. So now let us see what logic function has been implemented by this programmable ROM. So for that here we have been given the four options. So one of the option is the gray code. So these are the gray codes corresponding to the decimal digit 0 to 9. So we know that if we have been given the binary number, then this is how it can be converted into the gray code. That means if we see the G3 bit or the MSB of the gray code, then it is same as the MSB of the binary number. Likewise, this G2 bit is the B3X or B2. Likewise, the G1 is the B2X or B1 and the G0 bit or the LSB of the gray code is the B1X or B0. So correspondingly, these are the gray codes for the binary number 0 to 9. So if we compare this gray code, with this Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 outputs, then they are not matching. That means we can say that the output of this given circuit is not the gray code. Similarly, the second option is the access 3 code. So earlier we have seen that in the binary number, if we add the plus 3, then we will get the corresponding access 3 code. That means for the decimal digit 0, the access 3 code is equal to 0011. Likewise, for the decimal digit 9, the access 3 code is equal to 1100. So these are the corresponding access 3 codes for the decimal digit 0 to 9. So if we compare this access 3 code with this Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 outputs of this P ROM, then as you can see they are not matching. So we can say that the output of this P ROM is also not access 3 code. Then the third option which is given to us is the 2421 code. So similar to the 8421 code, this 2421 BCD code is also weighted code. So here the MSB has the weight of 2 while the digit next to the MSB has the weight of 4. And likewise the next two digits has the weight of 2 and 1. So correspondingly these are the 2421 BCD codes for the decimal digit 0 to 9. Now if you closely observe then this 2421 BCD code is the self complementing code meaning that here we can find the complement of any number by just changing the ones by zeros and the zeros by ones. For example, if you take this digit 3, then its 9th complement is equal to 6. So here, just by changing the zeros by ones, we can get the complement of this 3. Likewise, if we see the 9th complement of the number 4, then that is equal to 5. And as you can see over here, just by changing the ones by zeros and the zeros by 1, we can get the complement of the number. That means here, if you see the digits from 0 to 4, then they are the mirror image of the numbers 5 to 9. That means just by replacing the ones by zeros and the zeros by 1, we can find the complement of the given number. So we can say that this 2421 code is the self complementing code. And accordingly, these are the corresponding 2421 BCD codes. So now, if you closely observe this Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 outputs of this P ROM, then at a first glance, it appears that this Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 represents this code. 
because here if you see the first output then that is equal to all zeros similarly the second output is also equal to 0, 0, 0, 001 and likewise if you see almost all outputs then they are similar to this 2421 code but if you see this fourth output then it is not matching with the 2421 code so of course as per the weight this number is equal to 4 but like i said in this 2421 code the numbers from 0 to 4 should be the mirror image of the numbers 5 to 9 so in this case if you see then the number 4 and the number 5 are not the mirror image of the each other that means here just by replacing the ones by zeros and the zeros by one we will not get the complement of the number 4 but apart from that if you see for all the numbers then this condition gets satisfied but for this specific number it is not satisfied because as per this 2421 bcd code the coding for this decimal digit 4 should be equal to 1010 10. but in this case that is equal to 0100 0, 0. that means here the output of this p rom is not satisfying the condition of this 2421 bcd code and therefore we can say that the given code is also not equal to 2421 bcd code so from this we can say that none of the given options are the correct one and therefore for the given question this d is the correct answer